President Putin sat down face to face with his Ukrainian counterpart for the first time ever. They were attending an international summit in Belarus, where the focus was mostly on the crisis in eastern Ukraine. Irina Glushko is there to tell us the most important points of that breakthrough meeting. Irina, thank you very much for being with us. Now, what have we learned about these talks between President Putin and President Poroshenko? Well, they have been in the works for quite some time. We've been waiting for the results for hours here. The talks lasted for several hours, for almost two hours, as a matter of fact, and they finished well after midnight. Again, as you have said, for the first time, President Putin and President Poroshenko have met one on one. And obviously, the situation, uh, the conversation revolved around the situation in uh, eastern Ukraine. Now, Russian President uh, said uh, by the end of the meeting uh, that. Um, Russia did not discuss uh, anything about the ceasefire agreement, largely because Russia is not a participant in the fighting that's happening in southeast of Ukraine. Uh, Russian president said that, that Moscow can only uh, serve as a, an entity creating a feeling of trust between uh, the conflicting sides. Of course, having said that, Russian president also mentioned that Moscow and Kyiv will ha have agreed that humanitarian aid is indeed needed um, in southeastern regions of Ukraine. Now, there was a lot of talk concerning the gas relations between the, the two countries, and the dispute uh, seems to be coming perhaps to a conclusion. They have agreed on continuation of talks between Moscow and uh, Kiev, uh, including EU in those discussions. Now, Russian president said that uh, Russia has indeed cut off gas supply to Ukraine because uh, they have refused to pay, and that could affect European consumers of gas as well as has been actually, as actually has happened happened uh, before. And now, when when we were waiting for this meeting to start, uh, we were watching closely as the two presidents were arriving uh, to the presidential palace that's right behind me. And uh, the minute Russian president has set foot inside, you could see that he was a man feeling absolutely confident in what was about to happen. He was all smiles. We couldn't say the same about Ukrainian president. Uh, his facial expressions have less, left us wondering about the complexity of the emotions that he was feeling. But then, of course, there was that very first handshake between the two presidents for the first time, kind of set, setting the tone of hope uh, for the uh, upcoming meeting. And it does seem that indeed perhaps we have seen some movement forward. Then, of course, now it's down to, uh, the, action, to the actions to start taking place. But by the end of the talks here in Minsk, Russian president said that he is happy with the way they went. He called them positive.